Hello everyone, Jen Schreyer here, Grantham Guest Lecturer this week. Just want to talk to you briefly about some information that I wanted to add to this week's readings on collecting marketing data and information. As you learn this week, there's two main sources and research options for collecting data. First is secondary and then primary. With secondary, as you can see, internal data sources, these are generally past studies, past research that have occurred. Um, government sources such as grants, different studies have been conducted by the government and other entities, book and periodical sources, and commercial sources. Remember, these are past information that has been collected. Usually you buy um, or you research from previously conducted information. Sometimes, keep in mind, it can be old or out of date, or depending on the topic, or the research conducted, it could still be very fresh due to the info contained. But um, you just re really need to evaluate um, the information that's out there and whether or not it's still good and valid or if you need to take a new spin on it. Um, the second option, again, that we read about this week is primary data collection. Again, direct observation, focus groups. Keep in mind these can be online or in person. Um, surveys. Take into account the demographics, psychographics, and all the other variables that can go into surveys and experiments. Um, remember, primary data is very specific. It can be very time consuming and very expensive. So keep that information in mind when you're choosing which options you need. Um, there are a few options associated with both. As you can see here, incomplete or inaccurate assessment, um, severe information overload. What do you have? What are you looking at? What really matters? Is it substantial? There's a lot of information that came out of research, whether it be primary or secondary, and you need to make sure that you or whoever's conducting the research is the appropriate person to step back, take a look, and evaluate it. Um, also, as I mentioned before, the time and expensive collecting data is very important. Um, there's a lot of time, energy, and resources that go into it. And how do you organize the data? There's a ton of information you're going to get. How do you keep track of it? How do you make sure it's useful? Um, you need to make sure that you have a plan for this. Otherwise, your research and your information could be wasted and not being able to be used to its full ability. So you need to, at the end of the day, decide what are you trying to learn? What's your goal? What's most effective and what will provide the best results for the information and, that you're looking for? All of these things must be taken into account and must be decided before deciding between primary or secondary, or and sometimes it may be a combination of both that works best.